Have respect therefore to the prayer of thy servant, and to his supplication, O Lord my God, to hearken unto the cry and the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee, that thine eyes may be open upon this house day and night, upon the place whereof thou hast said that thou wouldst put thy name there, to hearken unto the prayer which thy servant prayeth toward this place. Hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, which they shall make toward this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place, even from heaven, and when thou hearest, forgive. Israelites, now that you are aware, you have two natures, the flesh and the spirit. The flesh represents the physical realm, your body, and the beast culture. The spirit represents the most high and the best part of you. The beast system is designed for the flesh. Anybody seeking spiritual enlightenment must operate in the spirit to mature spiritually. The scripture said, the most high is spirit. Anyone that worship and serve the most high must do so in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. A person that say that they worship and serve the Most High and don't accept the truth, serve another God. The scripture said you cannot please the Most High in the flesh. It is important for the people of the Most High to understand spirit. The Most High has revealed through the behind the scenes series and the angel series about the Satans. You are not aware there are more than one Satan. Everyone should know that the word Satan is a title, just as the word Lord is a title and can also mean husband or Baal. Satan is defined as an accuser or an adversary. Anyone who is an adversary to you is a Satan. The word of the Most High said in the book of Enoch that the Satans are the cause to the demise of mankind. Through the knowledge learned from the Satans, mankind lost his way and drifted from the Most High. Through the secret things the fallen angels taught their sons and the indigenous black people, the seed of man was ruined. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the satans and all their powers the most secret ones and all the power of those who practice sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth the scripture said in the book of enoch to the satan azazel all sin is ascribed the fallen angels have truly corrupt the world that was created for Adam and his seed to rule. The indigenous black people remain in a fallen state because of their failure to humble themselves, repent, and separate from the beast culture. The Satans, through the synagogue of Satan, have created a world in the lower places that is against the Most High. The beast system is designed to keep the indigenous black people in a state of despair. As long as the indigenous black people remain lost in the beast system, the longer the workers of iniquity will rule over them. The scripture said to the Israelites that those who hate you would rule over you. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The indigenous black people are hated in every region of this world, as well as in every community they dwell. The scriptures are being fulfilled when it said the Israelites would become an astonishment and a byword. If the indigenous black people open their eyes, they will see themselves in the scriptures. In addition, obtain an eye to see the words of the Most High being fulfilled. In order to see the prophecies being fulfilled, the people of the Most High must operate in the spirit. To the remnant, despite of the amount of time it has taken for the indigenous black people to awake from their slumber, the Most High has set a time limit for the heathens to reign. The Satans know that they have but a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you 
having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The scriptures reassure the elect that the times of the heathens would end. The Most High also reassured his people in the book of Matthew, for the sake of the remnant he will shorten the days. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The Most High has revealed to his people that he communicate with them in the spirit realm your dream life. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. The spirit realm is another dimension our spirit operate in when our physical body is sleeping to recover and prepare for the next day. The synagogue of Satan and the dark powers that run this world actively attack the indigenous black people in the spirit realm. The root of witchcraft and sorcery is an attack done in the spirit realm by witches and warlocks. Many Israelites and indigenous black people live a defeated life because they have zero knowledge about the spirit realm. Everything that will ever happen here in the physical realm will take place in the spirit realm first. Majority of the prophecies we read about in the scriptures are visions and dreams. The prophets of old had written down for the future generations, such as this generation, to know and understand the signs of times. The book of Revelation are visions and dreams. The prophet John had the Most High command him to write down. Daniel is another prophet the Most High used to reveal end time prophecies. The Most High said if there be a prophet among you, he will make himself known to him in a dream, the spirit realm. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. Israelites, the reason it is important for you to know and understand the spirit realm, you can do everything right in the physical realm. Praying, fasting, repenting, humbling yourself, and seeking the Most High. If you're establishing evil covenants with the kingdom of darkness in the spirit realm, you will go in circles and live a defeated life. You can break the evil covenants while you are alert in the physical realm. Always remember the unclean spirits and the workers of iniquity will show up in the realm of the spirit to reestablish those covenants to place you back into bondage, especially when the Most High is getting ready to change your life. The workers of iniquity will show up to rob you. You must put on the entire armor to stand against the thieves and spiritual attacks done to your spirit in the spirit realm. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Israelites, it is important to ask the Most High to help you understand how the spirit realm operates. You must know the laws that govern the spirit realm as well as the language of the spirit realm. Just as the Most High placed powerful archangels to govern and rule certain regions in different aspects of his creation, the Most High placed the holy angel Sarakel over the spirits who sin in the spirit realm. Sarakel one of the holy angels who is set over the spirits who sin in the spirit. If the spirit realm or world all of us travel to when we sleep is not important and the events that take place there is not significant, the Most High wouldn't speak to you there. The scripture said the Most High give you instructions in the spirit realm. Remember the Most High is spirit. The Most High communicates to your spirit only. Yah does nothing in the flesh. Remember, you cannot please the Most High in the flesh. Anyone who operate in the flesh reap corruption. When you dream, it is your spirit that is active in the spirit realm. Your flesh, your body is sleeping and remain here in the physical realm. Your spirit do not sleep. When the Most High was transferring the everlasting covenant from Isaac to Jacob, the Most High spoke to Jacob in the spirit realm. In the spirit realm is where the Most High transferred and established the covenant with Jacob. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. 
And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. But the name of that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. Many covenants are established in the spirit realm. Every single one of us dream. The problem many of you have is that you're forgetting your dreams. The reason you're forgetting, the workers of iniquity are causing you to forget by using witchcraft and sorcery. When you don't remember, you don't break the evil covenants established in the realm of the spirit. With the people not breaking the evil covenants, you give the dark powers of this world permission to use your life as well as to brutalize you by placing you into bondage. Israelites, the Most High wouldn't put his powerful archangels over your spirit as well as the spirit who sent in the spirit realm to govern it if what takes place in the spirit realm was not important. Raphael, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. The Satans imitate and have a counterfeit for everything the Most High does. There is a Satan that is over certain regions, people, and the governments of this world, the beast system. The dark forces of this world set a Satan over social media to make sure certain voices remain oppressed. Have you ever wondered why all social media giants have the same rules? If they were independent companies that is not governed by the same dark powers, why do they have the same community guidelines? They censor certain voices at the same time. They are on one accord. The workers of iniquity created a biased algorithm to target certain people. The social media giants are controlled by the same Satan. Israelites know that the Satans do not have absolute control. The holy archangels that are set over certain regions have authority and power given to them by the Most High. These are the archangels who are above angels, measure all life in heaven and on earth, and the angels who are appointed over seasons and years, the angels who are over rivers and sea, and who are over the fruits of the earth, and the angels who are over every grass, giving food to all, to every living thing, and the angels who write all the souls of men and all their deeds, and their lives before the Lord's face. In their midst are six phoenixes and six cherubim and six six-winged ones continually, with one voice singing one voice. And it is not possible to describe their singing and their rejoice before the Lord at his footstool. There is a holy angel over all aspects of the Most High's creation. The fallen angels want to make it appear as if they are in control. They are not. If the people of the Most High take the time to read the scriptures, they will soon realize the fate of the fallen is sealed. There is no redemption for the fallen and the wicked who follow them. The Most High has the final say in all of his creation. Remember, the Most High appoint kings, presidents, and leaders. He it is that dethroned them as well. Remember King Nebuchadnezzar? The king spake and said, is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee, until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Israelites, ask the Most High to give you more understanding about the spiritual aspects of your life. The Most High has revealed how active the holy angels are in the lives of the Israelites and indigenous black people who repent and will receive salvation. The Most High has revealed how the holy angels operate. 
you are not aware how the Most High uses the holy angels to manifest his will into your life. The scripture said the steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Most High. The Most High uses the holy angels to order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The time has come for us to put it all together. As the generation that is seeing the signs of times, the remnant must remain in constant communication with the Most High. A lot of the prophecies preserved for us by our ancestors are manifesting. It is important for the Israelites and the indigenous black people to submit themselves to the Most High to hear the instructions the Most High sent to the remnant through the Holy Spirit and the Holy Angels. As the remnant begins to prophesy about upcoming events, the remnant must become doers of the words instead of hearers only. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. As the signs of times are becoming more apparent, the holy angels will have messages for the people of the Most High. If you're not connecting with the holy angels, you will delay receiving those messages. The messages some of you will receive are critical. We are members of one body. We all have to do our part to make sure the will of the Most High is done. We all want to see his kingdom come and his will be done. Israelites, instead of marching and begging the Satans to have mercy on us, the time has come for you to put into action all the wisdom and understanding the Most High has revealed to you in the awakening. All who have awakened at this time, your knowledge have increased. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, know that the word of the Most High is truth. All things written must be fulfilled. The Most High said, in the last days, he will pour out his spirit on his people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. The elders will dream dreams, and the young men will see visions. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. When the people of the Most High begin to dream dreams and have visions, the Most High will dispatch his holy angels to give his people understanding of the dreams and visions he has given to them. Just as the Most High sent the holy archangel Gabriel to Daniel to give him understanding about the visions he saw concerning the end times. The holy archangel Gabriel is over paradise, the garden of Eden, as well as over the serpents and cherubim, according to the book of Enoch. Israelites, it is important for you to have an open communication with the Most High to receive the answers to your prayers. If you don't know that some holy angels are messengers for the Most High, as well as some angels minister to you, during the end time, a lot of Israelites and indigenous black people will be lost. It is important for you to utilize the help the Most High made available to you to help you in the times of trouble. Alas. For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Praying and fasting is how you communicate with the Most High. When you pray, you are having a conversation with the Most High. Israelites, it is important to know the process when it comes to praying. Some people believe after they pray, the Most High will respond quickly or they will hear a voice from the sky speak to them. Israelites, do not let the heathens television programming deceive you, as well as the false doctrines learning religion mislead you. The Most High do not interact with your flesh. Remember, the Most High is spirit. The Most High will respond to your spirit. That is why the scripture said the Most High speak to you in a dream or vision. When the Most High speak with you in the dream world, he is interacting with your spirit. At times, the Most High will speak with you through his Holy Spirit that lives in you. The voice of the Holy Spirit is gentle and quiet. The voice of the Holy Spirit is often the sound of your own voice. Israelites, it is important for you to look within. The scripture said the kingdom of the Most High is within. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. 
If you're waiting to hear a great big voice respond to you while you are in the flesh after praying, that is not going to happen. Depending on what you're seeking from the Most High, Yah may respond quickly or respond at a later time. When the Most High answer your prayers, He will send His holy angels to give you the answer. If you're connected with your divine helpers, the holy angels, you will receive the answer to your prayers. The reason some people believe the Most High do not respond to their prayers, they are looking in the beast system for the answers. You will not find the Most High in the beast system. That is why you must look within. Israelites, you can find countless examples of the Most High sending his angels to give his people the answer to a prayer, as well as helping his people escape from trouble after they prayed. The scriptures gave us a story of Peter being in prison in Jerusalem. Once the people of the Most High prayed without ceasing for Peter, the Most High responded. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Israelites, do not underestimate the power of prayer. While the people of the Most High prayed on the behalf of Peter, the Most High responded and sent his angel to help Peter. The heathens had Peter heavily guarded by two soldiers. He was also in chains. The heathens prison is no match to the most high sovereignty and the holy angel sent to deliver Peter from his hardship. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying, arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him. And wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out, and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. Israelites, you heard in the scriptures how the people prayed for Peter's deliverance. After praying, the Most High responded by sending his angel to deliver Peter from prison. Once Peter was delivered from prison, Peter said, Now I know the Most High is with me. He it is that delivered me. In the mix of the Most High sending his angel to help Peter, the people who was praying on his behalf had no idea the Most High sent his angel to help Peter. They were still praying when Peter went to the house. They all gathered to pray for him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. The scripture said, When two or three gather in my name, there I am in the mix of them. Some of the Israelites praying on the behalf of Peter had unbelief in their heart. When Peter was knocking at the door, they thought it wasn't him until Peter gave his testimony. None of the Israelites praying waited to hear from a big voice from the sky respond to their prayers to give them instruction on what to do concerning Peter. While they were praying, the Most High responded by sending his angel. The scripture said to pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Some Israelites and indigenous black people do not understand the power in prayer. Just because you didn't get the response you wanted or you didn't see anything happen after praying, it doesn't mean the Most High did not hear your prayers. Keep praying for one another. The scripture said the prayers of the righteous unveil much. 
confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Nothing can stop a righteous man and woman prayer whose heart is pure before the Most High. The fervent prayer of the righteous can change things. The ears of the Most High is open to the prayers of the righteous. The Messiah said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Nothing will be impossible for you. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. I remember a little while ago I was sick with a cold. I felt really awful to the point I started to feel as if I wasn't going to recover. I remember praying to the Most High to heal me, as well as rebuking the spirit of infirmity. I was canceling any covenants I made with the spirit of infirmity knowingly and unknowingly. Later on that night, I dreamed the Most High showed me a multitude of people, so numerous I couldn't count. They were praying and laying hands on me. I automatically thought of my open diary family, my immediate family, as well as the angels praying on my behalf. Yes, the angels pray and intercede on your behalf as well. The angels rejoice when we repent. Raphael, the archangel that is assigned to the spirit of man, said in the book of Tobit that he brings the prayers of the righteous to the Most High. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Not so long after the dream of the Most High showing me of the multitude of people praying for me, I recovered. The prayers of the righteous unveil much. Some Israelites believe their prayers don't work. Just because you didn't get confirmation, it doesn't mean your prayers didn't help someone in need of it. If you have a pure heart and a member of the remnant, your prayers are heard. The heathens made sure to have you pray for them when they wrong you because they know your prayers are being heard by the Most High. That is why they push the doctrine of praying for your enemies heavily in the pagan church. Elias in the scriptures prayed without ceasing. The scripture said he was passionate. He prayed continually that it might not rain. It did not rain. Once he prayed again to rain, the rain came. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Praying is important, especially at such a time like this. The heathens made it known that when the Most High began to judge the heathen nations, the sons of the Nephilim Nehandathals would target the indigenous black people. They will attack you, take what you have in the act of survival. Do not be ignorant to their threats. They made it very clear that you are the target and always will be. The scriptures also confirm their diabolical actions. The Most High said he will provide and protect his people. The Israelites and indigenous black people must know how to pray prayers that will bring the protection of the Most High as well as the judgment of the Most High. Now that we know about the promises the Most High made to the remnant, we must remind the Most High of His words to receive the help that we need. Remember, the words of the Most High do not return to Him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The Most High said He will save us. To be delivered, we must pray. The word of the Most High said he will send the archangel Michael that is assigned to our people to deliver us from the times of Jacob's trouble. Because we have this information, we must pray accordingly to see to it when the time comes, we are delivered. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. 
and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Israelites, it is when you become doers of the word, you begin to see the power of the Most High operating in your life, as well as when you begin to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The beast system's religion culture has programmed the people to wait on the Most High. In order to activate the angels and get the help needed, you must pray. When you pray, you are asking the Most High for help. When you sit around waiting, you are not moving. How can the Most High order your steps if you're not taking a step? In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Many Israelites do error when they sit around waiting. You must become doers of the word, not hearers only. For every action, there is a reaction. If there's no action on your part, how can there be a reaction from the Most High? It was when our people humbled themselves by praying and fasting, the Israelites began to praise and sing to the Most High. Yah set up an ambushment against the multiple armies gathered against Judah during the reign of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. Once the Israelites humbled themselves, the Most High intervened on their behalf. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Our ancestors did not boycott and protest in the streets to get help from the Most High. They simply humbled themselves, pray, fast, praise, and worship the Most High. In addition, assembled the soldiers and positioned them for battle, believing the Most High would deliver them from their enemies. Israelites, the scriptures reveal the soldiers prepared for battle despite the fact the Most High fought for them. You still have to do your part even though the battle belongs to the Most High. And he said, Hearken ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king, Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. When the Satans come against you, be prepared to fight. While you are preparing and getting ready to battle, you will see the hands of the Most High against your enemies. Israelites, when you add fasting to your prayer, it's like supersizing your prayers. Fasting combined with prayer will overthrow dark powers, thrones, dominions, governments, and secret societies. Fasting will get you the result you want. Fasting is bringing you closer to the Most High. When you pray and you don't get the result you want, add fasting to your prayer. When you fast, you will see the Most High. When the people of the Most High want to overthrow the principalities, the scriptures say we wrestle against, fasting is required. Some devils are destroyed only through prayer and fasting. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. I recommend that the people of the Most High fast often. Make fasting a part of your life. Fasting will break generational curses, witchcraft, and sorcery. Israelites, as the days get evil, we have to prepare ourselves and put into action everything the Most High is revealing in the awakening. The time has come for you to pray fervent prayers that can shake kingdoms and change your people's lives. The remnant have the power and authority to pray prayers that can bring forth deliverance as well as protection from the Satans you live among. Israelites, do as the word of the Most High say, pray without ceasing. The ears of the Most High are open to the cries of the righteous. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Israelites, Start praying prayers that will erase the memories of your adversaries from the face of this earth. 
The Most High is listening. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. 